in this space. There's something special, I think, about being in a, a bit smaller room, a bit more of an intimate setting, and I'm excited for the chance to spend a few minutes together this morning, centering our hearts on the goodness of God and the faithfulness of God. We're going to do that through some worship this morning, so I'm glad that you're here. But before we jump into uh, the rest of our time together this morning, we do have some campus announcements, and to tell us about those campus announcements, we have a very special, I guess a, a guest, but she's about to become a regular because she is your new student body president. Please welcome Ms. Metty Regala. Such a wonderful person, and I has already been serving so well with SGA over the last couple of years, and I think is going to be an exceptional SGA president. Will represent you well, and you'll get to see her up on stage quite a bit over the course of the year next year. But she does have a few announcements. But I also wanted her to just briefly introduce herself, tell you just a little bit about herself before she talks about all sorts of things that are happening around campus. So let's give a little more round of applause for Matty. Uh, molecular biology and possibly voice, and I'm interested in this Eve. So, here are the announcements. Senior send off on Thursday, April 27th, from 11:30 until 1:30 p.m. Alumni Relations will host a senior send off for all 2023 grads to welcome them into the alumni family. This event will be held in the George Shin parking lot. There will be pizza from Floor Forge Co. Music and attendees will be given their alumni T-shirt and other swag. This event is for graduating seniors and is free. Lipscomb Fashion Show. The Lipscomb Fashion and Design Department cordially invites you to our annual spring fashion show. Students within the department will display their latest creations and senior collections. We will have a live music performance and the Create What's Next wearable art contest. The spring fashion show will begin promptly at 7 p.m. We ask that you please be in your seats by 7 p.m. Doors will open at 6 p.m. Tickets must be purchased using the QR code on the screen. The Honors College is hosting the Small Business Bash this Wednesday, the 19th, at 3 to 6 on the Honors House lawn. The event will raise money for the nonprofit book up. There will be a student small business market, live music, games, food, and more. We can't wait to see you all there. Full Moon Festival is happening this Saturday, April 22nd, from 6 to 9 p.m. at the well. Full Moon is a 50s themed charity concert put on by Delta Omega and Theta Psi, and all proceeds from the event will benefit YES and Best Buddies. From now until we run out, we will have 255 free student tickets sponsored by SGA. After that, you can purchase tickets for only $5 in the Student Center. It's a come and go event, and we'd love to see you there. Thank you. Well, there are all sorts of things happening on campus, even as we start to wrap up this semester. And so I know that you may be walking in with a lot this morning, uh, maybe some nerves or anxiety about upcoming exams, maybe some excitement and some relief about the end of the semester, maybe anticipation as you look forward to the summer that is to come. Um, and so whatever it is that you're bringing into this, this space this morning, we believe that we worship a God who meets us right where we are who invites us to bring all of who we are as we enter into his presence with joy or with fear, with guilt, or with just a need to be surrounded. But God loves us, sees us, knows us, and is with us here in this space, especially as we sing and worship together this morning. We are going to be led in worship this morning. We're going to spend several minutes singing together. That's all we're going to do today. So I'll invite you to lean in as we do that. We're going to be led in worship by Awaken, who is our freshman worship ensemble. So we're going to welcome you to Awaken. And I'm, going to, I'm going to put a special challenge out for you to really lean in, engage, and sing this morning because they've been dealing with some technical difficulties and they've just been champs. Like they just have had the best spirit about them and dealing with those technical difficulties and they're going to do i know an incredible job and so i'll invite you to lean in with them to support them to encourage them as we sing and worship together this morning because i think as we honor them we're actually honoring the one who gave them their gifts and their talents as we're going to sing together we're going to 
praise our Father in heaven. So I'm going to invite you to stand up and do something um, kind of hospitable and generous this morning. If you're sitting on the edge of a row, maybe try to scoot into the middle just to make some room for folks as they continue to come in this morning, make some space. So if you've got some room in the middle of your rows, go ahead and scoot together. And I'm going to say a prayer for us, and then we're going to sing a few songs together. That's how we'll spend our time together this morning. Um, what a gift it is to be here together. Let me pray for our time. God, we give thanks for your goodness, and for your grace, and for your love, and for your mercy. And if we just stood in this room all day long and sang songs about you, we couldn't even begin to capture the magnitude, the breadth and the depth of your love for us and the length that you have gone to, to come after us, to pursue us, to show us your love for us. So God, would you use these next few moments just to remind us of your love and of your care, to remind us of your presence. May the songs that we sing serve as the chorus of our lives that will motivate us to leave this place and to be people who reflect you to the world around us. It's in your name that we pray and that we sing, that we lift our voices and our hands and our spirits this morning. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let's sing together.
words are simple, but sometimes I think we make faith too complicated. So we're just going to go back to the basics of these words, you know. Our Father.
you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up, you understand my thoughts from far away. You observe my travels and my rest. You are aware of all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know all about it, Lord. You have encircled me. You have placed your hand on me. This wondrous knowledge is beyond me. It is lofty and I am unable to reach it. Where can I go to escape your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I live at the eastern horizon or settle at the western limits, even there your hand will lead me. Your right hand will hold on to me. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light around me will be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night shines like the day. Darkness and light are alike to you. For it was you who created me in my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will praise you because I have been remarkably and wondrously made. Your works are wondrous and I know this very well. My bones were not hidden from you when I was made in secret, when I was formed in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw me when I was formless. All the days were written in your book and planned before a single one of them began. God, how precious your thoughts are to me, how fast is their sum. If I counted them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, I am still with you. This is the God of the universe.
Go in peace, friends. Have a great rest of your day. We will see you next week. Best of luck with all your projects and finals and all the things. You're loved.